Hello everyone, my name is Neon Genesis and I'm here to take you through the duty, the level 65 duty fight, the time between the seconds. Keep in mind, I managed to do this duty first time, so a lot of what I may advise is a lot of the mistakes I probably made myself during the video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. So the fight takes place and initially you have to take down Xenos Yeah Galvis. He has a few attacks that he can use during this phase. And one is a simple auto attack that can hit for roughly a thousand damage or so, nothing too threatening. The next attack is Concentrativity. This is a wide circle AoE and can be avoided. It does have a rather longish cast time, so be sure to stand out the way. His next attack, which is unavoidable, is Vein Splitter. You should recognise this attack from your previous encounter with Xena. This is a simple AoE that can do around 3000 to 4000 damage. I guess there's nothing to really say except, I suppose, <laughs> brace yourself. His more serious move that you'll want to watch out for is when he summons several lightless flames. These do nothing at first, but explode after a certain amount of time. Stay away from these as their AoEs are pretty big, unfortunately this move has no name. But they normally appear almost straight away after Vein Splitter, so keep a look out for your enemy list to know when they're up. More flames will appear, so you'll have to be more tactical with your positioning, so try not to get hit with these. While the flames are still up, Xena will still use his other moves like Concentrativity. Another move he'll use, which I found hard to dodge as a Black Mage, as you'll see in the video, is Lightless Spark. This has a very wide AoE that can do around 4000 to 5000 damage. Rinse and repeat these mechanics until you get them to around 35 to 40%. I'm not sure if this fight is timed based or of Xeno's health percentage, but whatever it was, at 37%, you'll get a phase change. Phase 2 begins with Xenos using Art of the Sword. This is a cross-shaped AoE that shouldn't be too hard to avoid. Xenos will mix it up a little bit, making a dark reflection, which after a time does a huge wide AoE move, all the while teleporting to you using other moves like Concentrativity. Later in the fight, things can seem pretty hectic, but you do have Regent Overtime buff on you provided by the game to aid you through this fight. But keep in mind though, don't get complacent as I believe you still can lose this fight. Again, like before, this fight ends with either time duration or health percentage. But in any case, I took him down to around 95% and like your previous encounter, he ended the fight with Concentrativity, putting you down for the count and ending the fight. I hope this guide was helpful and proved to be somewhat of a guide to aid you through this encounter. I'll be sure to have some other guides coming out very very soon, so be sure to stay tuned or subscribe for more Final Fantasy XIV videos and don't forget to click that bell icon so that you're notified for when I do videos. I'm also on Twitch so if you're interested in seeing some live streams, be sure to let me know as I do want to get into Final Fantasy XIV streaming. I do want to kind of, you know, stream and kind of get, get into the community a little bit and so you guys can pick my brain and, you know, we'll just have some fun and maybe do some dungeons together or something like that. But anyway, that's just some ideas. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. You can also message me through the social media linked down below in the description. Be sure to talk to me about Final Fantasy XIV and pick my brain, because I love talking about Final Fantasy XIV and would love to hear from you guys. And until the next video, as always, I really appreciate the time you've taken to watch this video. I hope my video proved useful for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. Happy gaming.